Aha! You all speak human. We all speak human too. Hello. Hello. Hola. Dobre dien. It's okay, it's okay. I, I know a little bit of Russian, but not very much. My name is Jurgis. Uh, I am an activist, I'm a musician, I am a father, I'm a husband, I'm a performer, I'm an artist. But first and foremost, I'm a human being. And I'm very happy to be here with you today in Novosibirsk to remind you that first and foremost, you two are also human beings. Now, when I was speaking to the organizers about coming here, there was a question about translation. Pirivitali, right? <laughs> she said, eh, you know, the people here, not all of them speak English. The English is so-so. <laughs> And my paruski is ochin ne ochin. <laughs> it's like this. But I said, it will not be a problem. Because you speak human, and I speak human too. And the message I would like to leave you here today does not require for you to hear the words I am speaking. It requires for you to feel something. If you don't understand something, ask your neighbor to do the Pirivitali, okay? <laughs> All right. I work with music and activating people with music. I connect human beings, I shift emotional energy, I sometimes recalibrate social systems. Now, I'm not only playing music, I'm actually playing people with music. And I have been very, very fortunate in my life to travel all over the world and connect with rich businessmen to connect with humble artisans, to connect with young children, and to connect with older senior citizens and pensioners. I have also connected with people who live on the streets, as well as presidents and royalty. And I can tell you that although their circumstances, their context, what they are living, what their outside is, Inside, they're all the same. And for that reason, I have been able to connect with all of them. Now, getting intimate with people you don't know, going past the outside and going into the inside is a little bit risky. It's a little bit tricky. It is a little bit like dancing on thin ice. It is a little bit like tickling a bear. It is a little bit like kissing a venomous spider. <laughs> yeah, because we're human beings, of course. But if you approach them with emotional intelligence, with caring, with love, it always works. And I have been blessed to see that if you respect the context, the circumstances of a human being, if you understand their gender, or sex, if you understand their nationality, if you understand their profession, if you understand their social status, you can reach inside and connect with something deeper. And that is the objective. Now, the way you do this is through empathy. It is through empathy. It is by reading other people's emotions. It is by knowing what they're feeling. It is by understanding that you can see yourself in their eyes And if you do it right, they can see themselves in your eyes too. It is a very beautiful feeling. The reason why people let you in 
is not only because they are human, not only because they understand human, not only because they speak human, it is because they need human as well. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very big problem in the world with loneliness. Loneliness. People aren't connecting. And that is the sickness of the heart. But I have very good news for you. And that is that you can exercise your heart. You can go to the gym and go like this. Or you can be a hippie and go like this. It's true. And one of the first ways to connect with a person is by understanding they were physically. And so let's exercise a little bit. Are you ready for a game? Yeah. So this is a game. This will be fun. I think and I believe firmly that human knows how to read human. Okay? So let's see how you do. I will express an emotion or a feeling, a physical feeling, and you tell me if you get it, okay? If I go, ding, ding, ay, 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 ay. Pain. Pain. Oh, very good. How is it in Russian? Boy. Super. Хорошо. <laughs> how about this one? Oi. Tengo tanta hambre, hombre. Yes, very good. Top of your class. <laughs> how is this in Russian? Whoa. Super. How about this one? You have this one here. Breathing. Yeah, very Novosibirsk, right? <laughs> okay, I will. <sighs> Sleepy. Very good, you did very good. But this was the easy part, okay? Because reading physical emotions, ladies and gentlemen, is super, super simple. It does not make you a great human, okay? Reading physical emotions is the basic part. One of the amazing things we can do as human beings is really read complex emotions and again i believe that human is a language it is a linguistic code as you would say it is a yazik okay through which i can transmit through which i can receive and i can also access my own emotions and i can bring them out one very good example is a smile is a smile it is a truly worldwide protocol handshake. You see a smile, you go, okay. Laughter. Ha, 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 ha. In almost any and every culture, it will disarm a human being and go, oh, I feel a little bit more relaxed. How about play? Play. Fun. Ladies and gentlemen, fun is so universal that when you play, you, you can connect with your animals. You can connect with your dog, you can connect with your cat, you can connect with your Siberian bear. <laughs> or if, yeah. Or maybe you have a crocodile at home. But animals understand play. It is a very important social function. But what I like to play with most is with music. And you will understand that you do not need to know the words, you do not need to know lyrics to like music. For example, yesterday, at the And still, you can be in the shower yesterday, or in the car, or do my heart, do my. <laughs> this music does not need, does not need language. And let me give you a really good example of this. Are you ready? Yeah. Want to do some music? I would like to demonstrate something simple. How you can do this with very simple letters. We're just going to use A, which is a vowel, and hash, H, which is a consonant. Okay? And we're going to see if you understand what I'm saying using only these these two letters, all right? Are you ready? Now, feel free to replicate, to empathize, to validate, in other ways, to repeat, okay? If I go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-uh. See, you all speak human. Let's try another one. Ah, uh huh. Oh. 
I, I, ha, 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 ha. You all speak human. That's right. How about this one? A little bit more Russian. Saga da ga da ga da ga da ha. We can even have a conversation. Ha! Ha! Ha ha! Sagadagada! You all speak human. And now some people will say, I don't really like this Russian folk stuff. And they can say, We want a little bit of rock. And I go, And I can do some rock. And you can say, Rock! rock. Very good. Which is another linguistic realm altogether. Or we can do. Okay? I'm not using any words. But this whole time, I'm invoking emotions. And this is the curious thing, ladies and gentlemen. This is what is really magical. Is that you are feeling the emotions as you are expressing them. Did you notice? Every time you go, ooh, ooh, or you go, ha. You feel this, ha. So in a way, we are programming each other emotionally by accessing these emotions in our emotional database. We are painting this beautiful space with ooh, ooh, or ha. Does that make sense? Now, I believe that this is very good fun, but I also believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a responsibility to be human. And let me tell you a story. I am a Lithuanian, but I was born in Colombia. My grandparents are World War II refugees that had to leave Lithuania because they were afraid of the Soviets. That's true. That's true. It was a very big pain to leave. And they told me, you know, Jurgis, you should not trust Russian people for this reason. I, it's true. And it was difficult. So 20 years ago, when I went to Lithuania, at first I was careful. But then I went to party with some Russians. And I realized that I have no problem with Russian people. I actually like them. I like the fact that they are sincere. I like the fact that they are straightforward. I like the fact that they are generous. And some of the most important people in my life turned out to be Russian. One of them was my singing teacher, who taught me how to be really passionate about something. That when you sing, you have to go, yeah. He taught me this. And I have many other friends, including one girl, which was a lover, which taught me some very, very important wisdom. In the words of Mojna, yeah, she taught me this. And I think this is very good wisdom. Because if you want to approach a human being, you need to feel, you need to be empathetic, you need to be kind, you need to be soft. Does that make sense? Of course. So this is how I learned to love Russian people, by being human around humans. Because we are all human. We all speak human. We all understand human. We all need human. But guess what? It is also very important to practice humanity. Very important to practice. So I'm going to ask you to stand up. Stand up for me. Stand up. And I would like to ask you a very big favor. All right? I need you to give me a little bit of emotion.
Is that all the emotion you can give me? How about something simple? Oh! oh. Rawr. 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 Okay, very good. I want you to look around at these beautiful people around you. And I would like you to get good at practicing a little bit of more emotion in your life. So look around at the people. Look around at the people. Look around. Look around. Not at me, at them. Look around. <laughs> and I want you to sing. Mojna. Yezlastarojna. Yo, sing it with me. Mojna. Yeah. Yezlastarojna. A little bit louder. Sing it with me. Very good. Yes, Lestarojna. Yeah, be perfect of my feelings. Yes, Mojna. Hey, yes, Lestarojna. Okay, now let's do something. It is human to participate. So I want to see your hands in the air. I want to see your hands clapping. Can you show me some hands? Tuck, 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 tuck. Because it is human to be together, I would like to invite you on this stage. Come on the stage. Come. Come, 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 come. Come on the stage, yes. But I would like to invite you closer, closer, closer. I'm going to do a very big favor for you. I'm going to allow you to say I love you to the people around you. Because usually, if you do this on the street, they will call the police, right? So you can go. Yalu blue Yalu blue A ver. Yalu blue Let's try something simple. Go. Mwah. 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 Yalu blue. Yalu blue tiba. Yalu blue. Yalu blue tiba. How are you feeling? All right, do me a favor. Take a moment. How are you feeling right now? Okay. This is me with my Russian, which is ochin ne ochin. This is you with your English, which is eh. This is us connecting as human beings. Din. Now, we can party a little bit more in a minute, but I want to let you think about one thing which is very important. If you practice humanity, you can affect the space. Look, look at these people on stage. I go, hey, come on stage, and they're like, yay. <laughs> you are all human. You all understand human. You all speak human. You need human. If you practice humanity, you are giving others what you need. Simple. It is like saying da with a little bit more love. It is saying, it is saying sto with a little bit of understanding. It is saying niet a little bit more softly. That is my invitation to you to practice humanity. It doesn't cost you anything and it is scientifically proven to make you and the people around you happier. Good? Yeah. All right, one more.